Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use buttons with p5.js so you can click on a button and make something happen. So let's firstly go to the p5.js homepage and we're gonna download the framework. Okay, so we're starting right from the beginning so everyone is on the same uh, playing field. So let's open up the zip file and you can see the p5 folder. Let's copy that and paste that into a blank folder on your um, computer somewhere. So in this p5 folder, there is an empty example. Okay, and that's what we want to start on. An example with nothing in it. So the index.html that I've just opened up is totally blank. But there is code inside. And this code that's inside this file is actually very important. Okay, let's have a look at this code. Okay, so this index.html file, even though it's blank, it's imported a lot of settings from the p5.js framework. So it's imported all of these tools that you need in order to make the button work. So the most important one that I want to point everyone to is this p5.dom. Without this imported into your um, app, it's not going to work. So make sure you import this p5.dom file. And what is DOM? DOM is the document object model for HTML. So with this imported, you can then make p5 work with HTML elements such as buttons, links, images, all that. So now that we've examined this index.html file, and we've made sure that it's got the P5 framework, it's got the DOM uh, framework, all that. So we can now edit the sketch file to um, to create the button. So let's try and create this button. I'm just going to resize it a bit. Oops, it disappeared. Hang on a second. Yes, that's the one we want. So, um, what? how do we create the button? Well, firstly, let's create a canvas. Just like you would normally. Create canvas, 600 by 400. That will create some sort of uh, drawing, drawing uh, window or whatever you call it, box. And then let's put in a background picture, uh, background color, so you can see the background. So we got a little bit of a background. Now let's talk about how to create the button. The button is basically a variable. So let's create a variable, and the variable needs a name. So what is the name of the button? Uh, let's call it draw button that's the name of the variable now we're actually creating the variable and then putting the sorry we're actually creating the button and then putting the button inside this variable so the button how do we create it using a function called create button now the create button function needs an input what is the input to the function you need to say the name of the button uh, sorry, the value of the string displayed on the button. So let's put in here draw circle. Okay, so that is the name that's going to appear on the button. Okay, so let's save that, refresh. You can see that there is now a draw circle button that is outside the canvas, right? Because the draw button. Uh, the button is not part of the canvas. We'll talk about how to put it um, inside the canvas later on. But right now, it's not part of the canvas. 
So we now want to make a function that is executed by this button. So let's firstly create the function. So I'm gonna write another function called draw circle. Notice how I'm not using the draw function because the draw function by default is gonna run continuously every single frame, but I just wanna draw it once. So I'm gonna um, draw a circle. So I'm gonna say draw a circle, I'm gonna say uh, ellipse. And where do we draw the circle? 100, 100. And what about the length and the width of the circle? 100, 100. Okay, so I have not programmed the button to use this function yet. So for that to happen, I need to put in draw button dot, right? Because this variable is a button, I can now use the event mouse pressed bracket and then inside the brackets I'm gonna put in the function name of the function that I'm running which is draw circle so let's save it refresh and now when I click this button it draws a circle okay so that is how you would make a button work in p5.js now keep watching if you're interested in how to move this button around on the screen. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.